Hey guys, so I am on the wellness retreat of my actual dreams. I am in the Berkshires, Berkshires? Let me figure out how to say this, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> okay, it's the Berkshires, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm at this beautiful wellness retreat. I'm actually gonna be here for like three days, um, but I just wanted to do a little day in my life for the first day of this retreat. And it's actually time, it's like noon right now. It's time to take my meds, um, which I've talked to you guys about briefly, but I kinda wanted to talk a little bit more about my experience being on antidepressants recently. And just a little depression, anxiety check-in, which is great because the sponsor of this video is hers and that aligns really well with what we're going to talk about today okay so cute little pouch for my supplements and my acne meds and my antidepressants because hot girls take their meds so i actually have spoken about my experience with anxiety and depression at length mostly on my podcast i also have a couple youtube videos brushing on the topic but basically if you're new here Hi, I'm Peyton. We're getting right into you knowing me very well. <laughs> but I have dealt with both anxiety and depression for my entire life. So like, I don't remember a day when one of those, both of them really, didn't live in me somewhere. So if you are a hot girl with anxiety and depression, much like myself, you are not alone. I am right here with you. Um, I've dealt with it every day and I've honestly, <sighs> sadly let it define my life to a certain extent and recently i am 28 right now by the way so it's taking me 28 years to get here but recently i have decided that i'm not defining myself by that anymore yes it's something i have and deal with yes it's something that is part of my experience um but i've always said too that like i feel almost lucky in a sense because most of my life it's unfair how lucky i've gotten in so many ways that I just kind of, you gotta think like, there's gotta be something wrong, right? So it's just gotta be something. <laughs> and if the something is coming from my own brain, I guess that it's something I have control over and I can kind of deal with in a way that I see fit. And for that reason, I feel lucky that my unlucky thing is actually on the luckier side. Does that make sense? <laughs> so if you guys want to hear more about my experience with anxiety and depression, if this sounds like something you're gonna relate to, you can look on my YouTube channel, obviously you're on YouTube right now. I have a video called A Day in My Life, Depressed Edition, where I'm kind of doing a lot of different things to avoid falling into a depressive episode. So if that's interesting to you, go click on that. I can leave a link to that video down below. Um, I also have some podcast episodes. My podcast is called Note to Self by Peyton Sartin. One of the episodes, an earlier episode, is called like living with lifelong depression and anxiety. And I really detail more of my experience there at length. So if that's something you wanna to listen to, I can also leave that below as well. But what I wanted to do today was talk about antidepressants because another podcast episode I recently did is called Hot Girls Take Their Meds. And that's a more recent one on, you know, the anxiety and depression topic where I discuss my choice to go on antidepressants to help manage these things and there was a lot that went into that decision but ultimately i just decided it was best for both myself and my boyfriend who i currently live with to try it out and see if they could even help me at all if, what, what kind of improvements this could make to my life um and i have been on my medications now for two months and i will say 
this is the best thing that I've done for myself in a really, really long time. I feel like me, but better. Just there's a little extra pep in my step. I am just exceptionally happier. The things that have really, my medication has helped with mostly is paranoia. Um, I found myself being incredibly paranoid, not only for myself, but for the people that I love. And it was just ruining my every single day. I will say I am a normal level of paranoid now. Um, <laughs> because there's a little paranoia that happens to all of us but this was like scary and like incredibly dark i will say i'm on the lowest dose of my um chosen medication and being on the lowest dose has made me feel one very comfortable because i feel like i'm not you know i didn't hit it too hard like i'm really going to uh be conservative with the dosage which just makes me feel better about it honestly and um even with that low dose it changed so much in my life so two months check-in we're going strong so this is kind of where hers comes in and i wanted to tell you all about hers because if you haven't heard of it it's a really good tool for anyone wanting to dive more into their mental health um especially as it comes to like when it comes to medications and stuff so hers offers access to high quality care for hair skin, sexual health, and mental health. You can get anxiety and depression medication from HERS and it's 100% online. And you can connect with a provider in typically 24 to 48 hours. They have messaging only consults, which is really nice if you're like intimidated with meeting someone like face to face. Over messaging is a lot easier. You have unlimited online check-ins and uh, also dosage adjustments, which is really important. I check in with my provider a lot because I want to make sure we're staying on a good track. And like I said, I've kept my dosage the same over the course of the last two months and it's been great for me. In terms of like psychiatric meds, they allow you to have like a personalized plan from a licensed medical provider. The medication management is done 100% online. They also will set you up with affordable generic versions of trusted medications for anxiety and depression. And when it comes to therapy, cause you kinda, you could hit it with a one, two punch if you want to. So you could have the psychiatric assistance that you need and then you can do one-on-one -on -one therapy online as well through hers. And this will be from a provider in your state. They have flexible scheduling and cadence depending on like your own schedule and it's like a pay-as-you-go process with no subscription lock-ins so if you guys are really interested in this and you want to learn some more or you want to talk with a medical provider of your own uh go ahead and go to forhers.com slash peyton underscore sartin to get started i'm gonna leave that link in my profile as well so just wanted to tell you all about that. I found this very useful. Another little note is I also get my um, acne medication from hers. So big fan. I also love their shampoo and conditioner. An added thing. <laughs> okay, so like I said, I just got to the resort and we are about to have a very interesting afternoon. First of all, I'm really excited to just be outside. I feel like living in DC is great because there's a lot of stuff to do outside, but you're always outside in a city. So out here, it's beautiful. I'm in mountains. Um, there's lots of green everywhere. And the resort is really set up for you to connect with nature and slow down. They have like a very, I wouldn't say intense cell phone policy, but like you're not supposed to be texting or calling anybody on your phone. And the resort is massive. So we're about to go on a little tour of the resort and um, see a couple different things. And I think we're doing some kind of obstacle course, like a zip lining moment <laughs> at some point soon. So. We'll see how that goes for me. Another very exciting thing that I haven't said anything about yet is one of my best lifelong friends, like since we were 12, we have been this close. We haven't seen each other in a little while in like a fun setting that wasn't like when we go home and see each other. So anyways, I have asked her to come be my plus one this weekend and I'm really excited to have her along and just like have a good time with literally one of my best friends in the world. Um, I feel like we both need it. And that's one huge thing I will say that when it comes to my mental health, connecting with the people that I love, like really my people in this world is so healing <laughs> to my soul. And it just helps me reset and like center myself. So anyways, I'm excited to see her. Unfortunately though, her flight here got canceled. So she's at the airport just sitting and she won't be here until tonight. So she's missing the obstacle course situation, <laughs> which I'm sure she is not sad about. Let me tell you. <laughs> but anyways, we're about to go take a tour of this beautiful uh, little wellness resort. So I'm going to take her with me. I'm probably going to be late to the tour. So I need to run like 
ASAP. Um, so let's go. I'm actually gonna get dressed in something else, I think. Eh, should I? Eh, I don't know. Maybe I'll stay in this. Okay, I'm staying in this. So I'm going to head to this like ropes course thing that we're doing. One thing I really like to do in terms of like kind of steering out of a depressive episode is do something new and like physical. So whether it's like making something or I don't know, just something I haven't done before and something that like requires physical output, I feel like makes me just like happier. And I haven't done a ropes course in years. I'm gonna try to get one of the girls uh, on the trip to take a video of me on the ropes course. I'm scared. Everyone up in here. <laughs> Relax a little. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we we're about to go to dinner. We had about five minutes to get our shit together. On another note, I think the ropes course is my calling. It was so fun. I wish we had a little bit more time on it. And I wish I had more time to try everything at this resort. There are insane classes. I think the last day we're going to do archery, <laughs> which I'm really excited for. I'm only going to vlog one day, but I'll probably put the other two days on TikTok. Also, my plus one, Emily, has had the worst travel day of all time. First, her flight here got canceled and she's like stuck in Chicago. The next flight was one that leaves like now and it got pushed back to like 10 p.m. So she won't be here for quite some time. I have plenty to keep me busy until whenever she arrives. So I there's plenty I can do. I should, really should be working, but we're gonna go eat dinner instead. dinner we actually sat down and talked for a really long time i love influencer trips like this where the other influencers are completely different from me and come from completely different backgrounds and like life paths basically we all sat down for dinner there are two other influencers here besides myself and then each influencer has a plus one um there are two couples here both couples are a part of the lgbt QIA plus community and I'm just like a literal sponge and I've been listening to them talk all day and we just got into a really interesting conversation about being an influencer and trying to be as inclusive and not like not kind but just like serving to all the communities who could follow you and understanding how to do that well if you have a foot in privilege and just the whole thing. So we just had a very long conversation. We got the words moving with <laughs> a couple drinks and it's just been a really, really great trip so far. But I'm happy you came along on the day with me. I will say Emily is <laughs> 
Emily has been at the airport for 13 hours now, if not more than 13 hours. She's gone through flight delay after flight delay after cancellation. Um, they're trying to get here to her here tonight, so we'll see if she makes it and I'll make her record in the morning. <laughs> but if not, it will be me and my people, <laughs> just me and the Lexus team and the other influencers, and I will be the only one without a plus one. And I can't wait, if that does happen, I can't wait to go home and tell Joe that he left me alone in these streets. <laughs> Y'all remember this video is sponsored by HERS. If y'all want to try anything HERS related, just go to my description box. I have a link there for you guys to get started if you want to. It's just the most convenient platform I've ever found for both therapy and also getting the medications that I need <laughs> to make my life normal um, while on the go. So that's wonderful. Anyways, thank you HERS for sponsoring today's video and I will see y'all in the next video.